Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. So in this one I'm going to be showing you how you can track the progress of an upload that you make with Axios and also how you can create a progress bar so you can display that progress to a user. So to demonstrate I've already imported Axios via a CDN link in the head of this document. I've applied a little bit of styling already just to center the content, nothing more than that, and add a little bit of margin around the form. And all I have in the body is this form. So I've included the form here, so I have something to upload. And the form contains two elements, an input of type file. So that's going to allow me to browse my system for a file that I want to upload. And I'm specifying that I will accept a PNG or JPEG file for uploading and I've given that an ID of file so I can select it easily in JavaScript. And the only other element is a button of type submit. So this button is going to trigger the submit event for this form when it is clicked. Now down below, I'm going to create a progress bar that is going to be updated as the upload progresses. So I'm going to create a div, so I'm going to nest it in there. So the progress bar is going to be a HTML progress element. And you need to specify two attributes here. The first one is the current value. So this is specifying how much progress has been made with the upload in this case, and also a maximum value, which is the value that value needs to reach for the progress bar to show full. So I'm going to be calculating the progress of the upload in percentages a little later. So I'm going to set the max value to 100. And finally, for this element, I'm going to give it an ID so I can select it easily in JavaScript. So I'll call it progress bar. And I'm also going to create a label for the progress bar. So the label is for progress bar. And to begin with, I'm going to set the value of the label to 0%. I'm going to be updating this value in JavaScript as the download progresses. Okay, so that's it for the HTML. Let's have a look in the browser now. Okay, so here you can see our input element. I can already choose a file. I can't send it anywhere yet, but that's working. And we've got this button that's going to submit the form. So you can see that the progress bar is showing no progress at the moment. And we've also got the percentage display as well. So just to show you, if I set the value of the progress bar now to 50%, this will show half progress. And that's how we're going to be updating the progress bar. We're going to be manipulating the value of the value attribute of the progress bar via JavaScript. So I've reset the progress bar now, so it's back at zero. Now we're ready to start adding some JavaScript. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do in JavaScript is to select some of the elements. So I want to select the form, I'll give that an ID of form and I'll select that now by that ID I've given to it form and I'll save that in a variable called form and second I want to select the progress bar so I'll reference that under the name bar in JavaScript and in HTML it has an ID of progress bar Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is to handle the submission of the form. So to do that, I'll say form dot add event listener, and I'm listening out for a submit event on the form. And when that occurs, this function is going to fire. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is prevent default. So the, the prevent default method on the event object that's created and that way the page doesn't refresh and I don't want it to refresh because I'm handling the submission of the form with JavaScript. Okay so when you're preparing a form for upload a good idea is to create a new form data object so you can do that by using the keyword new before the special form data object and that's going to create a new instance of that, so I'm going to call this form data. Now with textual data, I could just pass in form here and form data would create a new object that I could send like that as the payload, 
but because there's an image attached or rather because there's going to be an image attached I need to do a little bit more work. So what I need to do is to select the file that the user wants to upload. So I'll do that first of all. It has an ID of file. Now if you want the user to be able to upload multiple files you can add the multiple attribute to the element but I'm just going to keep it as one file for now. So with only one file the index of zero is always going to be correct as long as the user has actually attached a file. Okay now finally for the handling of the form I want to append this file to form data so I'm going to save it in a new variable and then I call append on form data and I need to specify what type of file it is I'm appending so in this case it's an image and I need to reference the file in the second position. So now form data is my payload and it's ready to be sent and I'm going to be sending that with Axios. So I already have access to Axios because I posted the CDN link in the head of my document so I can access the library via the Axios object and this is going to be a post request. Now as an endpoint to post to I'm going to use the publicly available test endpoint provided by HTTP bin. So it's httpbin.org forward slash post. So Axios is going to return the result of a promise. If successful, I can handle that with the dot then method. So you pass in a function here, you have the result available to you as a parameter, and I'm just going to log that to the console if successful. And if it's not successful, then it will fire the catch statement, which I'm going to again just log the error to the console if there is one. And I still need to specify a payload for this post request. So you pass that in in the second position. Our payload is form data. Okay, so before I show you how to track the progress of the upload and also update the progress bar, let's just check that this post request is working in the browser. Okay, so I'm going to select the image again. And now when I click upload, hopefully I should get a response back in the console from the server, letting me know that this worked okay. Okay, so everything seems to be working fine. The status code is 200, meaning that it was a good request. Now let's move on to tracking the progress of the upload and also updating the progress bar. Okay, so the way that you can track the progress of the upload in Axios is by specifying that's what you want to do. And you do that by passing in a configuration object in the third position. So I still need to create that object. So let's do that now. So it's a custom object in JavaScript. And what you need to do is to create a property with the exact name on upload progress. So this is a property recognized by Axios and it will send information about the progress of the upload via this property. Now the value of this property should be a function and within this function you have access to the data on the upload via a parameter. Now you can call it whatever you want. Most people call it progress event by convention so I'm going to stick to that. So the way that this works is that this function is fired every time there is some progress on the upload. So the way that this works is this function is fired every time there is some progress on the upload and you have access to data about the progress of the upload via the progress event object. So to calculate the percentage progress of the upload every time this function fires, you are going to need to access two properties on progress event. The first one is loaded. So this is specifying how much has been uploaded already. And the second one is the total, so the total file size. Now each time this runs, you are going to want to calculate the percentage of the upload that's complete. So I'm going to create a new variable here, percent completed. And this is going to be a calculation. So I'm going to divide progress loaded 
by progress total. Okay, so at the moment, percent completed will express the percentage completed on a range of zero to one, but my progress bar has a range of zero to 100. So what I'm going to do is multiply that calculation by 100. So it's on the same range as my progress bar. Okay, so now I'm ready to program the updating of the progress bar. So I do that by setting the value attribute on the progress bar. And I want that to be percent completed. So this function is going to fire each time there's progress on the upload, calculate the percentage completed and set that to the value of the progress bar. And I also have an attached label. So that's this label here. And this doesn't have an ID, but I can get it by traversing the DOM from the progress bar to the previous sibling. So I'll do that now, bar previous element sibling, because it's an element, and then text content. And I'm going to set the text content to, that's going to be percent completed and a percentage sign afterwards. Now, optionally, you can do something when the upload is fully complete. So you could do that with an if statement that's going to check if percent completed equals 100. And if it does, then you can do your thing here. So what I'm going to do is to set the label text attached to the progress bar to upload complete. Okay, so just to review this process again, we attach the image to the form data object. So our form data object is the payload. Then we're posting this payload in the second position using Axios, and we're passing in a config object to the post request in which we are specifying that on upload progress, we want to calculate the percentage completed update the value attribute of the progress bar and also update the label attached to it. And once the download is complete, that is when the percentage completed is 100, we're going to set a message of upload complete in the label. So let's head over to the browser now to see this all in action. Okay, so let's test if everything's working. I'm going to attach my file. Now this time when I click upload, we should get a status update on the progress of the upload via the progress bar and also via this percentage display text. So let's see if that works. Okay, so the good news is that the progress bar is updating just fine and the display text is updating also, but we need to round that number because it's far too long. We don't need to be that precise, but I can easily fix that with math.round. Okay, and when it's complete, we should get the upload complete message. Okay, so everything's working fine. Now you'll notice there's some delay in getting a response from the server here. And this is because the way this test endpoint works is it mirrors whatever I send it. So it's sending the image back to me that I sent to it. And this takes a little bit of time, but you can see the image is there. Um, I can't access it, the string is too large to edit, but that is included in the response. So everything worked just fine. All I need to do now is to resolve that issue with the percentage display. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm simply going to round whatever the outcome of this calculation is. Okay, so I'll test this again now. Choose the file click upload and hopefully now, yeah, there's no decimal point on the display percentage. Now, a little trick, if you have a very fast internet connection, then the upload may happen too fast for you to see a percentage happening here, but you can simulate a slower internet connection by going to the network tab and then adding some throttling. So you can simulate, for example, a slow 3G connection so if I do the upload again now, 
you'll see that it's happening much slower now. So this gives me a much better chance to see the progress bar in action. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.